Hello everyone, welcome back to Biolexia YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 7 high demand IT jobs for India in 2026. So this content not just hype. So I will show you which role are actually growing, uh, where companies are hiring and what skills you really need to learn. So these insights come from real market reports like uh, Times of India, Economic Times and uh, LinkedIn Indian Jobs. So stay till the end then you will know what are the top 7 high demand IT jobs in India in 2026. The first job that contains to explode in India is data engineer. Every company from banking to e-commerce needs people who can handle big data pipelines. So a recent LinkedIn report showed that over 27,000 open data engineer roles in India. Then what are the main skills are required uh, to these data engineer job roles, you know, SQL, Python, ETL, Azure Data Factory, AWS Glue, Snowflake, Spark. So data engineers average salary is between 6 lakhs to 25 lakhs per annum. It depends on the experience. So if you love working with the data, then this is one of the best career option in 2026. Next comes to cloud or DevOps engineer. So India's cloud marketing is growing fast. Like AWS, Azure, Google Clouds are investing billions of uh, amount in our India. And what type of skills are required? You know, AWS, EC2, S3, VPC, Terraform, Kubernetes, Docker, Jenkins, Ansible. So the average salary for this cloud engineer is between 5 lakhs to 25 lakhs per annum. It depends on the experience and location. So if you like building systems that never go down, then this is the best path for you. And third one is the, the superstar of this decade. That is nothing but EA engineer or artificial intelligence engineer. So according to the uh, Times of India, India will need around 1 million of uh, AI professionals by 2027. Then what are the main skills required for this AI engineer? You know, Python, machine learning, LLMs, data science, TensorFlow, PyTorch. And the salary range for this AI engineer between 8 lakhs to 30 to 35 lakhs per annum. It depends on the experience and location. So if you understand both data, logic, business, then this field is for you friends. And fourth one is, is an all time favorite. That is nothing but full stack web developer. It can be front end developer or back end developer. Even though AA and clouds are trending, every company still needs web applications. Then what type of tech stacks is required uh, to become a, this full stack web developers, you know, either React or Angular or Node.js or Spring Boot and MySQL or MongoDB and the REST APIs and anyone programming language like Java or Python or C Sharp, okay, any one programming language required. And the salary range between 4 lakhs to 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs for an hour. If you love problem solving and analytical thinking or critical thinking and able to handle some work pressure, okay, then this job is for you guys. But the competition is very high for this uh, uh, web developers because um, this is an old technology and uh, most of the candidates already have learned this type of courses. That's why competition is very high for this technology. So if you able to uh, handle competition and able to handle some work pressure and you have some creativity and patience and uh, uh, troubleshooting or debugging skills then this full stack developer or front end or back end developer jobs are for you guys and next one is a qa automation engineer in fact a qa automation is evolving into dev test ops where testers write code for automation and integrate with the cicd then what are the main skills are required, you know, Selenium uh, along with uh, Java or Python, REST Assured, Cypress, JMeter and TestNG. And the salary range between 5 lakhs to 18 lakhs per annum. So remember, manual testing alone is not enough to get a job nowadays. You have to focus on automation plus integration testing. And, and next one is Cyber Security Engineer. This is one of the fastest as more companies are moved to the cloud, data protection and identity management are becoming top priorities. So that's why cyber security engineers also growing very demand in the upcoming years. Then what are the skills are required, you know, network security, SIEM tools, 
ethical hacking, cloud security, zero trust architecture. Cyber security professionals, the salary range between 6 lakhs to 25 lakhs per annum. So by 2026, every major company will have dedicated cyber teams. If you are basically analytical and a low problem mindset, then this job is for you guys. And next one is data analyst or business analyst. Not everyone will code like ML models, but every company needs insights. Then ish. Then what are the main skills required uh, to get this job? You know, Excel, Power BI, or Tableau, SQL, Python, statistics, requirement analysis. The salary range between five lakhs to eighteen lakhs per annum. So this job is perfect for people who love data, but also communication, reports, and decision making. So I'm going to tell you one of the bonus IT job also that is nothing but service now develop. It is the platform that runs the ITSM, HR service delivery, and IT operations in big companies. The skills required service now scripting, glide record, flow designer, REST API integration. And the salary range between 6 lakhs to 20 lakhs for annum. So these are the, the top 7 high demand IT jobs in India for 2026. Okay, so along with these technologies, there are other technologies also there like um, uh, UI and UX designer and um, uh, ERP related technologies like um, uh, SAP or uh, Salesforce or uh, Oracle uh, Fusion related courses. So those are also good choice but job opportunities wise and uh, uh, utilizing the technology wise so these are the, the top seven it jobs okay in india which are going to demand in 2026 which technology you are already learning and which technology you are going to learn please comment in the comment section okay is this really uh, worthful to learn or not i will reply to your comments okay if you feel this content is really helpful don't forget to share to your friends and your social networking platform and hit the like button. I will come back with one more useful content video. Till then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.